A child injured by gunfire during the weekend has renewed a Fort Worth emergency room doctor's mission to make sure children are safe in homes where there are guns. Fox Wars Dan Anglin in Fort Worth with an update on the shooting and the message doctors are trying to spread. Dion. Yeah, Clarice, that is right. The recent shooting injuring the three-year-old in Fort Worth is under investigation, but still unexplained. And as you mentioned, it has, however, uh, prompted this hospital to renew a push for gun safety in the home. A shooting inside this Fort Worth home on February 22nd left a three-year-old girl shot in the head. Police still investigating have yet to give details on what happened or whether someone was negligent and could face charges. So far, no arrests have been made. A mother and father and two twins inside the residence at the time of this incident. Since then, the two twins have been removed and are in foster care along with the three-year-old that was shot in the head. The three-year-old was rushed to Cook Children's Medical Center. Her condition is unknown. In light of what happened in the last few days, uh, you know, the risk is always there. The shooting has prompted the hospital and ER Dr. Daniel Guzman to renew a public awareness program started over two years ago to teach gun safety in the home. This is actual training video from the program of a child locating a gun that has been rendered completely inoperable. The child's parents are in another room watching him via closed circuit camera. Oh my God. <sighs> Despite being previously told to never touch a gun if found and to alert an adult, this child does the exact opposite. Dr. Guzman hopes the video will drive the message home to adults. At least 94% of the children that we uh, have gone through the program have either identified the gun but didn't do anything about it or they actually picked up the gun, looked down the barrel or pointed the gun at their sibling next to them. Now, last year, Cook Children's Medical Center uh, treated 24 children who were injured by gunfire. The year before that, the number was 48 children of which four died.